Hello everyone and welcome back to Travel Dash. In the last video, we ranked every single national park in the state of California after I had visited all of them. Today, we're dialing things back a bit and counting down its top 10 state parks. California by far has the most state parks of any state at around 280 total. I don't think there's a person out there who's been to every single one, myself included, but I have been to some pretty cool places. Now, I decided to make this a top 10 list with one notable exception. I have no 10th spot. Instead, I want to list off some state parks as honorable mentions that I have not been to. If any of you love one of these parks I'm about to mention and think it should be in the list, consider its entry into the top 10. Point Lobos State Natural Reserve, Lime Kiln State Park, Mount San Jacinto State Park, Russian Gulch State Park, and Antelope Valley State Natural Reserve. If there are any other great ones that could have made the list, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you, and let's dive into the list. Up first is Pfeiffer Big Sur State Park. One of the most popular stops along Big Sur is an area blessed with coastal redwoods. It's amazing how you can go from these spectacular coastal views to a lush forest with seemingly one right-hand turn off California's Highway 1. We didn't do a lot here which prevents it from receiving a higher spot, but I was impressed by what I did see. Taking the Pfeiffer Falls Trail through these monolithic redwood trees was beautiful. I enjoyed this trail and bridge that you can cross taking visitors over a creek. Pfeiffer Falls is a 60-foot tall ribbon waterfall that fits the atmosphere of the park very nicely. If you want to continue up this trail, you can also access the valley view, which may be of interest if you're visiting the park. Number 8, Torrey Pines State Reserve. Located just a half hour from where I live, I've had the opportunity to visit Torrey Pines countless times. The 2,000-acre state park is one of the best spots in San Diego to see ocean views and coastal bluffs. While there are many trails in the park, my favorite is the Torrey Pines Beach Loop. You'll get some wonderful views of the rugged cliffs and rock formations as you make your way down to the Torrey Pines State Beach. Keep your eyes peeled for flora and fauna in the park. There will usually be a number of crabs hanging out along the water, and the park also protects the elusive Torrey Pine Tree. This tree is critically endangered and only grows in this state park and on Santa Rosa Island and Channel Islands National Park. Since the tree is endemic to the California coastal sage, I always enjoy seeing them when I can. Number 7, MacArthur Bernie Falls Memorial State Park. One of my favorite spots anywhere in Northern California, this small state park encompasses what many believe to be California's most unique waterfall. Bernie Falls is truly a site that needs to be seen to be believed. Its width to height ratio is unlike anything I've seen as it has hundreds of little waterfalls coming out of the moss. Even though I've only visited this park once, it's worth noting that because it's a spring-fed waterfall, Bernie Falls has a pretty constant flow rate all throughout the year, including the dry summer months. The Bernie Falls Loop Trail, which includes various angles of the waterfall, also takes you around and over Bernie Creek. You'll get some great peaceful views looking out at Northern California's lush foliage, which is a change of pace from where I live down in San Diego. Number 6, Emerald Bay State Park. This state park, located right along the California-Nevada border, is easily the best spot to visit within Lake Tahoe. I regret not spending more time here, as we didn't really do our research before visiting last year. From what I understand, there are several long hikes that take you up into the mountains with beautiful lakes and waterfalls. We only got to see the bay itself, which still warrants a spot on this list. It's an absolutely stunning view looking over these emerald green waters and Finette Island, which reminds me a lot of Wizard Island at Crater Lake National Park. Eagle Falls is a pleasant waterfall, I definitely enjoyed that as well. On a future visit, I'd love to take a ferry to Finette Island and do some of the backcountry hiking that could put Emerald Bay even higher on this list. Number 5, Julia Pfeiffer Burn State Park. Located right in the heart of Big Sur, Julia Pfeiffer Burn State Park is by far one of the most picturesque stops anywhere along Highway 1. The main draw here is Midway Falls, which is one of the few tidal waterfalls in the state that lands directly onto the sand of a beautiful beach. It's not the tallest waterfall you'll ever see, but the serenity of Midway Falls is extremely hard to beat. If it's open, you should also check out the Midway Canyon hike. This is something I unfortunately did not have the chance to experience, but if I did, I'm sure I would have loved it. The trail follows Midway Creek all the way until you reach Canyon Falls or you could go even further and turn it into a backpacking trip. Number 4, Humboldt Redwoods State Park. This is one that barely qualifies to make the list since we only did a drive-through of it, but I've decided to give it the benefit of the doubt since the area is so stunning. Humboldt Redwood State Park encompasses Avenue of the Giants, one of the most impressive scenic routes in California. The 31-mile drive is a scenic alternative to a portion of Highway 101, which I think you'd be crazy to pass up. If you're up for it, you can also get out at one of the trailheads in the park and hike into a redwood grove. I'm sure this is absolutely amazing, but since we had just gotten our redwood fix at the National Park and had places to be, it wasn't as much of a priority for us. Even still, this park was beautiful and I look forward to returning at some point in the future. Number 3, Prairie Creek Redwood State Park. This is easily the best redwood state park anywhere in California. Jointly administered by Redwood National Park and the California State Parks, this amazing spot is home to one of my favorite short hikes in the state called Fern Canyon. This 1.1 mile loop trail requires a permit, but it is a must do for anyone visiting the area. You'll walk through a beautiful creek with vertical walls lined with ferns on either side. Also check out the Trillium Falls hike, Elk Meadow, and the Lady Bird Johnson Grove Trail. This is one of 
of the best spots in both the national park and the entire state to see the world's tallest trees. We had such an incredible time at this one, so it easily grants a top three spot on this list. Number two, Castle Crag State Park. Before our big California trip last May, we would watch all sorts of videos on the best state parks you could visit. Yet not a single one included Castle Crag State Park, which I think you could argue is the most beautiful state park in California. Located just south of the town of Dunsmuir and Mount Shasta is a series of large granite rock formations ranging from 2,000 to 6,500 feet tall. The highest point you can hike to is the base of Castle Dome. The Castle Dome Trail lasts for about 5.2 miles out and back and is easily one of my favorite hikes anywhere in California. The views all throughout the trail and then the payoff out looking Mount Shasta is to die for. Also, check out the Vista Point Overlook, which is just a short walk from the main parking area and provides views of both the Castle Crags and Mount Shasta in one frame. This is a must-visit state park in California, but I did give one other state park the edge by the slimmest of slim margins. Number one, Anza Borrego Desert State Park. The largest state park in California, and arguably the largest in the country, is such a hidden gem. With 500 miles of dirt roads and 12 designated wilderness areas, this 586,000 acre park has so much to offer. All Californians watching this video, and especially those in Southern California, need to drop what they're doing and plan a trip to Fonts Point. This is one of my favorite overlooks in the entire state, and when I first laid my eyes on it, I was speechless. The rough badland scenery looks like something you'd find in Death Valley National Park. There's many spots in the park you can find similar views, like the Vista Del Mai Pass Overlook and Elephant. Knees Trail. I also enjoy the Slot Trail, which consists of about a mile of arguably Southern California's best slot canyon. Hike six miles to the Goat Canyon Trestle Bridge, explore the park's various mud caves, and go off-roading through Sandstone Canyon. There is so much untouched land to explore in this park, and so much that I have yet to explore myself. Even after three visits, I'll always look forward to the next, and would encourage all of you watching to visit Anza Borrego Desert State Park in the future. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Let me know in the comments what your favorite state park in California is. I'd love to see some different responses and who knows maybe I'll discover something new. Please give me a like on this video and subscribe to Travel Dash for more videos like this in the future. Thanks again and I'll see you all very soon. Bye guys.